Aries, that just did your oracle spread, and it's quite shocking. I haven't read for your son in, in a while, and I was so shocked at what came out of this. Um, holy crap. The drama. The drama is real. What in the hell is going on? Um... I use three different Oracle decks and then I stop because obviously the, I'm just going to title the video drama. What in the hell? I have this fake apology with an ex spouse. This is someone that's already an ex spouse trying to deliver you some type of fake apology. And you know that you can't trust this person. You're so unbothered. You can't trust them as far as you can throw them. You know this person's lonely. You know that they're a fake. That they that this person is a compulsive liar. They never have the facts. They make shit up. They lie. This is a compulsive liar. It's a huge fraud. Yeah, they just don't have shit. There's no car. There's repos. There's car issues. And your intuition knows that this person is who they are. They are complete drama queen. Wherever their name is, the drama follows. Yeah. Yeah. You know that this person, um, you have run away, burning evidence, dirt digging, drama starter. And yeah, there's something about what you know. Um, I think this sounds like advice that you gave to someone. You told someone. There's somebody that's avoided. They avoided the law. They avoided something because of destroyed evidence. They were able to avoid something that should have caught, caught up to them because the evidence was gone. Because right on top of burning evidence, I have dirt digging, looking up dirt or vice versa. This person destroyed the evidence. They were able to avoid punishment because they got rid of the evidence. Whoever this drama starter is, they got rid of their part of the play. Whatever they did wrong, they were able to, avo to avoid it. Your intuition is loud and clear because this person this drama starter uses lust they use lust this person's fast they're fast they're a whore this drama starter is a whore they are able to avoid a lot of shit because they dump evidence before they can get caught you've got drama one, two, and over here as well. It's all throughout your reading. I don't know what you what you guys have gotten yourself mixed up in. This feels like advice that you gave. Because over here you have don't want to hear it. Total drama. Sex. It's like you told this person. Listen, don't get mixed up with so and so. You better wrap your you better wrap it up with her. You know she you know he or she, you know she's gonna try to get pregnant. You know he's gonna try to knock you up. You know this. This person doesn't have anything. They don't even have a car. This person has nothing. You know this person or someone lied and said they were pregnant. There's don't want to hear it, total drama. I don't know if someone accused you of starting drama. They were trying to flip the script on you. Don't want to hear it, total drama. There's a there's sexual protection here or a lack thereof. And I'm going to say a lack thereof because clarifying sexual protection, we have falling apart. Falling into pieces, all torn up. It's like you told this person, you warned this person. And after you warned them, you said, I told you about so-and-so. You didn't want to hear it. I told you to not, not have sex with this girl. And now this person's at your doorstep falling all apart. Yeah. 
Yeah. And then on top of that, we have photo proof and putting them in their place. Yeah. Someone has the evidence. They've got the facts now, but they have enough. It's one-sided facts. You get what I'm saying? That paint someone a picture of being a monster. Um, it's like someone who provoked another and they only have the amount of proof that they need that points the finger at so-and-so of them being put in their place. They painted this picture that this person was dangerous, that they were toxic. Yep. This was all about the money, surviving the daily hustle. I think this was had something to do with prison. This person got someone locked up. Yep. Because someone is under the threat of jail or in jail and they want to talk now because they're they're lost. They don't know what to do. There's proof. Someone got blocked. They got cut off because there was enough proof to put so-and-so away. And you warned this person. You warned this person. You told this person, it's this person's a fucking snake. They're fake. You've been down this road before. And when you told this person that, they were unbothered about your advice. Yep. It was like they were lonely, pretending like they weren't lonely, making shit up, yeah. dealing with this drama queen. Mm -hmm. They dealt with this drama queen, this compulsive liar who was a snake. Yeah, they pretended not to be bothered with the person. They were dealing with them the whole time. And then once confronted, this person ran away from anything. They burned all the evidence. Mm-hmm. As you tried to look for evidence of it, they burned it. Burning evidence is here and clarifying is you looking for stuff. Uh -uh. This person didn't get caught. Then I think they accused you of, try, of, stir, of stirring up the pot. But you, your um, intuition was loud and clear here. You know a snake when you see a snake. You know that somebody was effing around. And that now, this person? Yeah, it's funny. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because what just dropped here on the floor? Now this person doesn't want to hear what you have to say. Or they didn't want to hear it back then. You told this person, he or she, total fucking drama. If you're going to deal with them, I hope you're wrapping it up. Yep, because now this person's fallen to all to pieces. Total drama queen because they have enough facts. Somebody gathered facts. They, this is a setup. They set someone up. They set someone up. This isn't the first time this person sets you up for failure. This person has a history of setting the other one up for failure. Yeah. They do these little recordings. They, they recorded this person. They recorded conversations. They got screenshots. Yup. 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 Somehow it was all about surviving that daily hustle. This person was hustled. This person was hustled. And then we have this lockdown. This person was hustled. Yeah, I think this person uh, put this other person in jail at some point. At any rate, that they've got this person on lockdown. And someone's um, talking about this with you because they don't know what to do. They don't know what to do because there's proof. There's some type of evidence out there. Yep. I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to get this cleaned up and then we're going to go into your tarot spread. All right, Aries, are you still with me? 
there's just a lot going on here and it just seems like this feels like advice or someone that you have a, a toxic history with this is a karmic cycle it's it's very true of a karmic cycle i mean these things end in jail they end in people getting set up while one person is able to escape because you know they get painted like the villain while the other person gets painted like the victim it is so well i don't know the word i'm looking for it's like the icon of karma, of a karmic relationship. These people are relentless. It's all about their ego. It's all about what they, it's always around money. It's always around money. It's always around possessions. These people bring out the worst in each other. At any rate, let's just pull their tarot. What is the, um, the strongest energy off of Aries? Spread, please. Spirit, what is the strongest energy? Oh, wow. Alpha Aries spread. Thank you. Oh, wow. Absolutely. The tower reverse. I wanted to make sure my deck was in the upright. It is. You pulled the tower reverse. This is that karmic cycle. So, this thing's already ended. This is probably a marriage, some type of long-term commitment that already ended, and somehow we got back into it. You told this person, do not touch this person. They are a snake. You've been through this before. Why would you go back to that? Because the tower upright is an ending. That's an ending. That's enough to shake that foundation up. It's meant to shake the foundation so that two people can move on or so that, because it's built on a false foundation. There was nothing about it that was good. So in the reverse is even worse. So the strongest energy off of your spread is the tower reverse. Major arcana, the tower in reverse. This is arguments. It's trauma. Frustration. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Sounds like bond money to me. You just had the Ten of Swords that tried to pop. It's all that betrayal, that nastiness, setting each other up. You got the devil on the back of the uh, spread. What is going on for y'all? It is so, the tower reverse is drama. Drama, frustration, trauma, arguments. What else do you want to talk about, Spirit? Yeah, healing. Healing. Divine healing here. And celebration. Yeah. Somebody healed something. With a temperance, they may have done it with a Sagittarius person with that temperance card. Um, three of Cups sometimes is a baby shower. They healed something here. Thank you. They healed something here. Something was healed. There was a divine healing on this and a celebration. Something was healed, right? The tower, um, you know, something got shook up. But then we put it back together, didn't we? We went back to it. We healed the situation and then we celebrated. We might have even celebrated with a baby shower, huh? Partying. I'm not taking all those. That's half the deck. Page of Cups. Yep. This is very well could have been a baby because pages are children. But there was some type of news here. Some type of offer. Yep. Yep, this person was a war hero, huh? This gives me the feeling of superficial. It was all about um, looking good in front of the people. But this is someone that's um, endured many obstacles. They're somewhat of an unsung hero. 
Mm -hmm. This person's coming back from battle. So on the outside here, it looks good. It looks like there was a tower moment, but we healed it. We healed this. Let's celebrate. They could have celebrated a baby shower, but at whatever, there was something that was healed and we're celebrating back in love. We've healed it. And then there was some type of news here that someone was winning. This was a total win. From the outside looking in, this looks amazing. This looks amazing. This looks amazing. From the outside looking in, things have been healed. We're all partying. We're celebrating. The news is out. We are winning in life, right? Yeah. Yeah. Until we have this, this grief. Because somebody was fucking around. Yep. Somebody is grieved because the other was fucking around. Mm -hmm. This is a cycle of this behavior. Yeah. Yep. Five of cups, five of wands. 55 in it, right? There was definitely a third party here. Competition, backbiting, pettiness, jealousy, envy, talking shit. Mm -hmm. That's what this conversation was. At first, it started off good, didn't it? Until we have grief because somebody stepped out on the other one. They cheated. They cheated. And now... Everybody turning on each other, right? All in the name of love. All in the name of a man. There is a there's a guy here. He was bored. He was bored. Plain and simple. Bored. So there's some type of strife here. Envy, jealousy, bitterness, frustration. Yep. I knew it was going to go down this road. I knew it. Mm -hmm. We're 55 in it now, but from the outside looking in, it looks like we're all healed. That we all hang out all the time. We party. We got the kids over there. We're just these, we're just celebrating all the time. Look at us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're pulling six of one, six of cups. We're 55 in it and 66 in it, huh? Mm hmm. This person went back to somebody from their past. This person, against all odds, went back to someone that they shouldn't have went back to. Yep. Oh, shit. I'm sorry my phone's going nuts. All right. Wow. Let me pause this for a second. Okay, Aries, I like to start with my deck in the upright. I don't think it's fair to start with stuff in reverse. You're already pulling on make the effort and healing family issues. If somebody just really wanted to heal something here, and I have a lot of children in this, and somebody went back to something um, maybe because of children, but this is definitely somebody um, that they went back to without the shadow of a doubt the tower in reverse and the six of cups that's someone from our past 
that from the outside looking in, it looks good, but it's not. It's anything but good. There is so much competition. These people, I mean, honestly, it looks like both people doing it. It looks like both people doing it, except one of these people are really good at hiding it and setting the other one up. Yeah. Yeah. Trust. Yeah. Soulmate and past life. So, this person, I mean, I'm just repeating myself. They went back to something that they had no business going back to. They put a lot of trust in this person. They thought this person was their soulmate. This person convinced them of that. This person from their past. Yep. And look who has egg on their face, huh? We can heal this. We can get past this. And at for a short time, there was a celebration. And now we're back to grieving because somebody has stepped out. This person trusted this other person. From their past this was a lesson that we just didn't learn we're having trouble we're having trouble learning the lesson there was a lot of chemistry here and now there's some separation huh there's a news here there's news here about that is just it's just hard it's being nasty. It's name calling. It's just being nasty to one another. All over this King of Cups. Who was bored, stepped out, had chemistry elsewhere, and now there's a separation. Mm -hmm. I really think that this was all over um, lust. This person, when it comes to the chemistry and the separation, this person, you know, it feels good to go back to somebody from our past because we're familiar with them. You know that there's there's already pre-existing chemistry there. Mm -hmm. I just think that these are two people that cheat on each other. Mm -hmm. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Yeah. One, this is these people are. Um, there's ego problems here. They, they're very controlling over one another because there's trust issues. So what happens when there's trust issues? The other is um, there's no boundaries, there's a lack of boundaries, there's a boundary problem because they cannot trust one another. So the other one is very controlling of the other one or both parties become very excessively controlling, monitoring their behavior ex into excess because they can't trust one another. And I told you there was children involved here. This person from the past wanted the other one to keep an open mind because of the kids. Um, this is some. This is somebody who probably has um, threesomes because, yeah, yeah, because there's three people there. There's two women and a man. This person was down for the get down. Yep. There is a lot of X here. It's a gross amount of X stuff here. This person went back to something they had no business going back to. They were already in reconciliation, or excuse me, separation. So then we reconciled, right? Then we release. It's very, um, what is the word? It's the cycle of karma, of karmic relationships. We have a little bit of chemistry here. We fight, we fuck other people, we come back. We fight, we fuck other people, we come back. And that's what you're seeing here. The chemistry, the separation, then we get back together, then we break up. That's what you're seeing here. And in the meantime, there's soul ties here because of children. Both people have extreme control issues. This is going to end up in one or both people going to jail. This is how this ends, by the way. If you don't know, let me give you, let me ruin the ending for you. 
Yeah. Because they forgive. So they do this. They have these control issues where it's excessive. There's a lack of boundaries. And then what do we do? We forgive and learn. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So someone from their past, let's move past, you know, and I, in theory, it sounds great, but the problem is the past happened, didn't it? And if the past was really bad, where people went to jail, where you interfered with another's life to the point they are going to have trouble getting employment, their reputation was ruined. You for you get forgiveness from that from God. It's time to part ways. When people start getting locked up, yeah, it's time to roll. I think you told this person this. I think you told this person this. Keep an open mind it, for the kids. You need to release your ex. You need to forgive this and let it go. If you don't know, now you know. This is either you doing this, Aries, or someone around you that's significant in your energy. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but you can't make it up. This is what it is, hon. Yeah. This person's a fake. Uh, the, the problem I have is that I don't feel like it's you. I feel like it's somebody you gave advice to. You warned this person. You told this person not to do this, not to go back. And now you're doing it again. Really, it's going to come to the point, Aries, where you're going to have to... Um, you're going to have to get these people out of your life. Because either they're going to grow with you or you're going to have to grow apart because it's just affecting it's eventually it's going to affect your your finances and the integrity and the reputation of your family you know and that's a damn shame that somebody would put their family through that but a lot of younger people do it you know it's um it's something that we do when we're young. We have the rose color glasses on. There's soul ties that are created in karmic relationships. This one is way too far gone to be healed. I'm going to let you know that. Way too far gone. People are going to jail. Reputations are ruined. There's uh, so much lies and deceit. There's disease in this. There's children being created out of this little, yeah, that are going to have um, behavioral issues. They're going to have, yeah, all types of issues because of the hell that they're being put through. Yep. This baby mama, huh? Yep. So... Let's get this straight. Something was healed here, right? And we celebrated, didn't we? And then we cried. Why did we cry? Because somebody cheated. Yeah, this soulmate. Let's trust this soulmate from the past. This ex of ours. Because there's children involved. We need to keep an open mind. So what happened? Baby mama, and this is what I think happened, got knocked up again. Yep. Because she's pregnant, hon. Yep. 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 Keep an open mind, huh? So, there was an empress here. Now, this is this to me is an ex-spouse. This is somebody. Or maybe um, there is a... You know, sometimes people do this where they divorce somebody and then they get remarried because that's what I have here. That's what I have here. I have an empress here which is married to an emperor and a new beginning in love. Keep an open mind for the children, right? So there's very well something got healed where people got married again to one another. And this is what we do. We do the on again, off again, right? Yep. The chemistry, because there was so much chemistry, they just can't get, it feels so good to go back to something because it's familiar to us. So what do we do? We separate, we reconcile, we separate. 
it's to the same energy. We separate, we reconcile, we separate, right? Okay. How long are we going to do it? The next time you go to jail, you might be going there for a couple years. Might not be an overnighter. You know, domestic violence is real. People die in domestic violence, uh, domestic violence situations. I'm not taking all those, Spirit. Reverse it if you have to. I don't want to take 17 cards. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So the fish in the cup, right? Mm -hmm. So we have page of cups, page of cups twice. And this is what we do. We announce the betrayal. Boo-hoo, so-and-so cheated. Right? So we separate. Then we reconcile, then we separate. So there's news here about what, time? What is the news? That they're back together? They're back together, they're happy, right? Either that or you're, you're very happy now that um, because it's right off of this release your ex, you're very happy that... Um, something's finally over but I can tell you I with that karma card right here this is a judgment call this sounds like poor judgment poor judgment and you're just kind of waiting on the other shoe to drop yeah yeah it's definitely a marriage yeah definitely a hundred this message is for a, a marriage somebody is remarried Letting go of control. They're for gonna, they're gonna forgive and learn each other. They went back and got remarried to somebody. Mm-hmm. With the four of wands. Yeah. Yep. Yep. This is definitely somebody who went back and got remarried. You're so unbothered by this. This is uh, and this is one of those messages I told you so you won't listen. Now this person most likely is calling you from jail. Yep, here we go. It was all built on a fit on a false foundation. All of it. Wasn't it? Yep. Empress Ace of Cups with the Moon. It was all built on a false foundation. This is that evidence that, that gets burned. I gotta wrap it up, Spirit. We're about to we're about to be out of time. I mean, no pressure or anything. <laughs> I just want to know what this karma is about. Yeah, here's our emperor, huh? Here's our emperor that is now affecting the family's finances. Yeah. 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 Five of cups. Because there is, he's, he wants you to feel sorry for him. There 